Outside on a Tuesday morning, live look at SPID near Everhart and Staples. You can see traffic flowing nicely this morning, and it is cloudy, but it is dry, so you do not have to contend with any rain out there, mostly clouds, and temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to the lower to middle 70s. This observation is at the airport. South winds at 5 miles an hour, and humidity is very high. In fact, it feels very tropical out there, and temperatures near 80 in Robstown, 74 in Mathis. Same thing in Beeville, George West, Alice. That is a very popular number this morning, in addition to Port Aransas and here in Corpus Christi over in Rockport as well. Southeast winds keeping humidity high 5 to 15 miles an hour. Now be the big takeaway for today. Winds will be breezy to gusty later on this afternoon. 15 25 miles an hour right now. Uh, this wind speed is preventing any fog from forming, so nothing too widespread nor dense on this Tuesday morning, but it is cloudy. As I mentioned, no rain is falling from any of these clouds, and you'll see the direction of these clouds moving in from the west and southwest. So we'll stay cloudy for your Tuesday. Temperatures rebound upper 70s, near 80 at lunchtime, and then we'll stop at about 81 to 82. Winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour, so a nice breeze, cloudy, gray. You say gloomy days up ahead for your Tuesday. In the meantime, the weather setup is uh, fairly stable. We have a little bit of light rain moving into the Big Bend area, far west Texas, and we have southwest flow aloft, and that usually translates to a lot of clouds moving overhead from Mexico and over the Lone Star State, which in fact is what we have right now. Now we turn our attention out west for this big upper level trough right here. You see this U shape in the atmosphere. This is energy lift instability in the atmosphere, and that'll give rise to a chance at rain on Thursday. Now I do want to show you uh, show you two different solutions. This is the GFS. This is model number one. Watch what happens in a Wednesday and Thursday. This trough sweeps across the plains and stays mostly to our north. So this provides yes, more clouds for today, for tomorrow and a chance at rain on Thursday. And again, it stays north, but watch this next solution. This is the European model. This trough not only strengthens and deepens, but it cuts off from the jet stream and it gets closer to West Texas, Mexico, and even the Corpus Christi. This is an ideal situation for really, really good rain chances, but there is just two different ideas of what's going to happen in the atmosphere. The GFS shows us clearing skies and sunshine for the weekend. We want this one to happen, but for the European model, it shows a slower progression of this system, giving us more clouds and rain for Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, which again, bug days starts this week. And we don't want that to happen. So right now there is just a lot of uncertainty in the forecast. We'll keep you posted right now. Clouds for today. Same thing for tomorrow. Isolate showers Thursday and a Friday. Most likely will change this over the next couple of days, especially on Friday and the weekend. Things should clear out sunshine. It should be nice and pleasant. But right now there is a chance at rain lingering into Friday. This weekend temperatures in the 80s overnights in the 60s and overall a pleasant pattern. Not too bad through Sunday and Monday in the lower to middle 80s. Barbie. Thank you, Ryan. Hi.